you know, we never really pushed the Chinese regime under Xi for anything, right? We haven't, we haven't forced the hand on, on the pandemic. And we're going to have another pandemic. So it would be nice to know what the fuck actually happened. Right, not to do Why do you think we're going to have another pandemic? Everybody keeps saying that. Yeah, well, because it's very disconcerting. We haven't had yeah. one in a hundred years. Not a legitimate one. Well, you know, you know, um, not to uh, toot my own horn, which I guess you know that would be an interesting thing to, if you could do that. But um, I, I, it was a few years back when we were talking, and I said, you know. We'll have a, the next big thing will be a pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. And someone had pointed that out to me. I'd, I'd forgotten about it, but they sent it to me. And so my point back then and the point now is that it's just, it's bound to happen, right? We're an increasingly shrinking globe. There's more people. We're in, in contact. We're, you know, with, with everything that goes on, right? Whether it's in a natural based or just what we're doing in, in, in biotech and pharma, it's bound to happen. And so I guess you'd think that if we were serious minded, we would demand answers and we wouldn't just allow the G regime to just shrug it off constantly. Right. I mean, you know that there would be a massive uh, debrief on this whole situation if it happened in the US or the UK or, you know, started in Australia or wherever. Mm -hmm. Right. The rest of the world wouldn't let it go. But there's just some, there's something about it. We just we never push the Chinese regime to the degree that we need to to get an answer. And, and, it's, and so the, the point being, it's the same with the damn balloon. Is it because we don't think we'll ever get an answer and it's kind of a waste of time? Because it's not like they're transparent. Part, part yeah, yeah. They I think would that's just it. not tell us the truth. Yeah, I think that's, that's part of it. It's like doing business in China. Um, if you're investing in, in, in a, a pseudo state-owned enterprise or whatever, you always know there's going to be three or four or five sets of books, right? It's always, there's, they're just very good at obfuscating. And they also think they don't need to answer. We don't care. They don't, they don't care. And she believes that they are still on, despite some problems in their economy, they're still on the slow march to the top of the food chain. So he, he certainly doesn't care. Um, anyway. Do you yeah. think anything would be different if someone else was in office? Um, no, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say if we got, you know, if Trump or, you know, a Republican was in office that we'd get a different result. I don't think so. We've, we've had it's sort of an unsatisfactory relationship related to China for decades. Right? We just, uh, we haven't, uh, no administration has really pushed back appropriately against their theft of economic intelligence or research and development or whatever. So, so all those things keep happening and we never make the effort. Right?